Hey YouTube, this is DWS Darius, and this is another episode of Amazing Fish. And this time I'm bringing to you the fairest of them all, the Jewel Cichlid. Okay, so before I start talking about the jewel cichlid, I'm going to give you guys a few seconds just to look at the beauty of this fish. Just look at those colors, really amazing. Let me give you guys a moment of silence. Okay, so no doubt the jewel cichlid is a very beautiful fish. This right here is my female. I have a male, but right now he's really not in a good mood. After he got beat by the Venustis, he's really been gray. Literally, so I'm not going to focus too much on him, but I'm going to focus on a female who is just really a beautiful fish, amazing colors. Now, in an aquarium hobby, the color red is to me really rare. I mean, you got the platies and a few other fish that are red, but a red this bright and just so shining bright, if that makes sense, is rare. And I just love how the jewel cichlid is such an easy fish to take care of can provide such red colors. Okay, so I said that the jewel cichlid was a fish that's easy to take care of, and it's true. You would expect that a fish so beautiful would be kind of difficult to take care of, but they're just as easy as any other fish. Just make sure you give them a nice space. I think that, in my opinion, the jewel cichlid is due for 30 gallons or bigger. These fish could get, the males can get about six inches, so you wanna make sure you don't give them space too small but a 30 gallon would be good or any size bigger would be great. So as far as tank requirements, they can go 30 gallons or more. And um, just the basic tank here, make sure you do your water changes, make sure you feed them, and make sure you just show that fish tank love and you're gonna get beautiful results from these fish. The great thing about jewel cichlids is that they're fairly easy to breed. Now in my case, my male has lost his dominance, so there's no breeding because if he was to breed, he couldn't defend the fry from the predators in his tank. But these fish are easy to breed when you keep them in a tank either by themselves or with fish that's less stronger than them. So if you keep these fish separated or just in a tank with fish that are not as aggressive, it's very simple to breed, no real requirements, just give them a rock and privacy and you'll get a batch of fry within these. Okay, when it comes to sex and jewel cichlids, my main method is just watching a growth rate. When you put these fish into your tank, the males usually explode when it comes to growth and grow very fast and the females pretty much grow slow. My female has been the same size for a year and that male has gotten to that size. He got from an inch to three inches within a month. So the males grow a lot faster in my case and the females tend to be a little bit more redder. Now I've seen bright red males, but every time I get a pair, the female always outbrights the male. Okay, so the last thing I think is amazing about the jewel cichlids is just that union. When a male and a female jewel cichlid become a pair, they're just unseparatable for the most part. Now my male has been just, as I said before, out of order. He's been gray, he's been down, but as you can see, the female still lays by his side and still shows that comfort. So that's really amazing to see fish showing such compassion towards each other. So that's another reason why jewel cichlids are amazing fish. Okay, so this has been another episode of Amazing Fish. Expect more episodes coming soon. And if you've liked this episode, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment below, and hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more.